Hello, ETL enthusiasts. Welcome to this presentation. My name is Sriram. I have been preparing and uploading a series of presentations related to Informatica interview preparation. Uh, this presentation is related to performance improvement, uh, what you did in your project. So in general, every interview will have such questions. So you can uh, have this discussion so that you can get a good marks in interview. Okay, let us start the music. Uh, let us see uh, here the first scenario um, that you can discuss with the interviewer uh, about table partition. Okay, So, an SED2 mapping or session is long running. It's a trade transactional dimension table uh, which is a slowly changing dimension too. So, requirement is to capture the history changes for trade transactions from various sources and expect changes in only current and previous queries. So even your data warehouse has five years of data, but you will only be uh, getting uh, changes for only current and previous quarter data only. Okay. So current session is running for uh, one hour and 45 minutes for 600K input records and 50K updates or inserts per day for this slowly changing dimension. Okay. So <clears throat> let us see the facts of this mapping, okay? So it's a trade dimension and uh, it has five years of data. So that is nothing but 50 million records it has. And while caching this 50 million records, 95% of the session resources have been used for caching. And it took one hour, 45 minutes to complete the session. Okay, so, <clears throat> Let us see what we can do to improve the performance here. Okay. So as we need to have the previous and current quarters need to be scanned instead of whole five years of data. So I have my target table partition based on the quarter, every year quarter. So every year you will have four quarters of data. Okay. And partitions. So that my self lookup scanning self lookup is to identify whether the input record is already existing or not or there are any changes coming from source as a new record so self lookup scanning needs two quarters that means almost 5 million not even 5 less than 5 million whereas earlier it was uh, scanning 50 million and caching 50 million records okay now the resources needed to uh, to uh, cache the 5 million records are only 35 percent or even less um, it may be 35 percent and then session can complete in 30 minutes so that means we improved a lot here okay this is one of the scenario you can discuss with the interviewer and you can say that this is in your project so every project is either data warehouse or data mart so you can have this one with customer dimension or transaction dimension any dimension you wanted to mention okay from your current project let us discuss the second scenario here Second scenario is also a mapping, which is long running. Okay. So how to determine a mapping or session needs improvement, right? So first check we generally do is if a session is long running, then that means that needs a uh, performance improvement that need to be improved. Okay, so that's all. So I have a second scenario also here, which is a mapping, which is dimension mapping, taking longer one hour of 15 minutes for loading only 505 k records. Okay, 5000 records. Okay. One of my earlier project has this dimension. Okay. So to identify what's happening with this one, so we need to first see, analyze the session log and see each step, the differences, time difference between each step, how much is taking. So where it's stuck, okay. Most of the time issue must be caching data because there has to cache data before it continue. The go lookup needs a caching. And step three, check resource busy time for that cache. It is taking more time while caching only and the resources of that caching time. So see whether cache records are equal to what we need. Say for example, I need only 500k records to be uh, scanned from the lookup table, but whereas it is scanning whole table, then there's a problem. We need to add a condition there. Okay. So let us see the facts of this day, uh, dimension mapping. Okay. Source records are 500k. Lookup has no SQL, right? Self lookup 
table has 67 million sub records and there is no SQL override. What will happen? There is no SQL override. There is no condition to reduce the number of records from lookup cache. That means lookup has to scan for all the 67 million records into cache and then after that only it will start processing. So what we can do to improve the performance here? So let us have a condition in lookup uh, based on the input condition so that it can only see particular uh, records instead of all 767 million records. So, so condition need to be added in lookup override so that it can only cache 6 million or less which are needed for this 500 case. So improved session performance by 70% here. So the, the session might be completing in 15 minutes now. So that's how we improve the performance. Uh, let us discuss the third scenario here. I have my I have this situation in my previous project. So HTTP status. Okay. So issue is project has HTTP transformation. Okay. And there is some Java process also included in here to send the status to test the status of the HTTP transformation to and from a huge table. ETL reads this huge Java table status record and update into our ETL status table for 60 minutes. It is running for 60 minutes. Okay. Let us see. While, oh, okay, let us see the mapping here so that I can, this explanation will be helpful. Okay. So this is the mapping that I'm talking about. Okay. The existing mapping is something like this. There is a source source qualifier and an expression and I have a HTTP transformation which has some Java process and also Java process here and then it loads into Java status table. This Java status table is a huge table which has some five years of data. So this is target load plan. So first flow will go first and then second flow reads the data from Java status table and use some expression formatting stuff and then load it into our ETL status table. Okay. So reading this Java table and this process is taking longer time. What I did, while loading in the first flow itself, while loading into Java status table, I also put the same num same records into CSV file. So that this update status record also present in CSV, then I will use that CSV file instead of a huge table here and then update into our retail status table. Okay. So whatever the reading time, of this huge Java status table is reduced now. CSV file has only one or two records, which is fast as this performance. So now earlier process, it was taking almost 45 minutes to one hour. Now it is taking only five minutes. Okay. So while loading data into Java status table, I have put another flow to have the same transaction data into CSV table so that I can use that CSV table as a source instead of a huge table reading and load it into ETL status table in five minutes. So that's how we can improve session performance. Okay. And let us discuss some of the other tips that we can uh, on the particular transformations like aggregator. So aggregator has special conditions like sorted input incremental aggregation, which can help in improving the performance. And we have filter filter the number of records in the source qualifier or you know after source qualifier i mean near to the source qualifier so that uh, the reducer uh, the records which can be reduced here so that processing can be very much faster lookup transformation use sorted input here also we have sorted input and also the condition to reduce the cache size. So lookup condition must not be simple uh, select star from EMP type of condition. Instead of that, add where condition so that the number of records will be reduced for caching. That will improve the performance. And also try to avoid the dynamic lookup cache. Dynamic lookup cache needs more time. Uh, whereas uh, uh, dynamic lookup cache is uh, advised to use for smaller tables. So smaller table static or dynamic, it doesn't matter. So it will improve anyway so that uh, add the condition to reduce the cache size for static uh, lookups and also we have joiner so joiner uh, two main things use a uh, fewer records source as master and uh, use fewer duplicate record source as master so that the iterations will be fewer so that our join will be faster and there is a sorted input option also can be used um, 
sometimes we don't need joiner if I have the same table. If only heterogeneous heterogeneous sources, then only use the joiner. If the same source attains same tables you are joining, it is better to use source qualifier. Um, have a SQL override to join them instead of a joiner. Try to have filter while reading the data in the source qualifier itself so that the reduced number of records can be processed easily. Try to join if same database tables you are joining with joiner uh, instead of joiner you just use source qualifier so that database uh, query will be faster than the joiner. Okay, um, that's it for this presentation folks. Thank you so much for watching this. All the best. Thank you.